after a baby reaches one year old they shouldn't go by months anymore. I hate talking to moms come tell me oh my child is 30 months or 27 months I don't really care. If your baby is over a year old why can't you say my baby's one or two it's so annoying talking to mothers who go by months after the child is well over a year old, I think it can make sense until two. But after that, I tend to agree, my son was slash is tall so I always clarified things like he just turned one so people didn't expect him to act like he was almost two just because he's twice the size of some other kids his age. There's a huge difference in behaviors and milestones between 12 to 24 months and saying 18 months or he will be too soon is helpful. He's 56, months now so. I think it's so acceptable to mention months up until 2 years. After having 3 of my own, there's just so much development difference even between a 12 month and 18 month old that other parents will understand. Actually it makes a lot more sense to use months until 2. A non-parent might roll their eyes but it makes sense for parents, healthcare providers, and early childhood education workers. There is a huge difference between a 12-month-old and a 22-month-old. The reason that parents often describe their child's age in months is because before the age of 3 a child's developmental changes are rapid and significant. A child of 12 months and a child of 18 months are very different. Certain milestones occur at specific months and parents are reading a lot of articles, or having discussions with health practitioners, geared toward a more scientific or medical approach that is describing ages in terms of months. Sure they could just round up or down or just say a year and a half but it's probably just a habit for them because their perspective has been altered by their experience. This 608 month old prefers getting more frequent cake. I disagree. Up until 2 YRS old a child's development milestones happen every few months, so even though two different kids are both one, a 12-month-old is almost entirely different than a 23-month-old. Going by months past 2 isn't necessary in my opinion. It could be too, that they're so used to saying the age in months due to all the doctor appointments, so that's what they say. This is such a frustrating post because it's not about an opinion. There are medical and scientific reasons to use months. It's like saying your opinion is that blood pressure should not be called hypertension, fine, but there's many medical experts who disagree. Yes, it does matter from a child development aspect. This mindset cultivates ignorance. There are differences between a 12-month-old child or 1-year-old baby and a 16-month-old child. There's differences in their physical, mental, and emotional growth that are important. The parents who think this doesn't matter are the same who think a daycare and a preschool are the same. If you don't know or care about how to both monitor and stimulate a baby's growth, then fine. Your kid might still turn out great, but paying a little more attention to their stages of development might be what cuts the difference for them. You can also go 15k miles without changing your oil and technically be okay most of the time for most cars. Disagree. My one year old doesn't walk. If they're 12 months, no biggie. If they're 23 months, huge deal. So much happens between 1 and 2 years, it makes sense to refer by months. Personally I go by months until they're close enough that I can accurately say almost 2. That's how the doctors do it because of the developmental milestones of those first months of life. A 12 month old is extremely different from a 23 month old. The significant milestones start spacing out more after two years though, so at that point it's fine to go by years. But up to two or so years using months makes way more sense. If you ever have kids you may understand. Other posters have said how development changes during the first two years, 24 months, but I also find that with my kids I swapped it in and out. So the doctor might check that we had the 18 month vaccination but to my friends without kids I would say the kid was a year and a half old. Up to 2 years in months is fine, any more is ridiculous. The difference between a child that 12 months and 23 months is pretty drastic. It's more drastic than say 52 and 53 years old. I feel like using a different measuring system is warranted.